Normally our episodes are super uplifting, positive. This episode, I'm extremely frustrated. I've lost a lot of money. I wanna educate anyone possibly watching this video on how not to make the same exact mistake I did with my truck. So I'm gonna show you guys what's wrong. And this is a very expensive mistake. My dad's not happy, I'm not happy. So let's just get right into it. We're gonna have some fun now. We're gonna destroy this wrap before we actually pull it apart. Oh, dude, we could give it like a sanded look, actually. Do you wanna try and key it? So some of you may remember this truck if you follow the channel. We bought this at an auction. It was salvaged, we changed the frame, fixed it up, painted everything, wrapped it, which that's the whole problem, which what I'm getting at. Wrapped it, made it look you know cool, and uh, I love the truck. What I don't love about the truck is the thousands of dollars that I spent on this thing, and it looks absolutely horrible with the wrap, and so I just wanna maybe educate some of you guys watching uh, so you don't make the same mistake. Long story short, since day one, this wrap has been stained. So none of the marks will come out. We, we've even gotten different sealants from the actual company, cleaners, and they tried it all. Crap. We've, uh, th this right here, just so you guys know, if you have any type of wrap, this right here, 70% alcohol. This is probably what 99% of the wrap guys use to clean the wraps uh, because it's not too crazy. It doesn't hurt it. It actually does very well. The C10 has been wrapped for three years and that's all we use on it. And this Looks truck, brand new. This truck's been through abuse. We blew no up, stains. We blew up the radiator at Hoonigan. We've gone through many tires. Look, this video is not to slam nobody. It's It's got me irritated because I don't have time to mess with this thing because we've got to disassemble the whole truck to it's, rewrap it. It's so much work to re, a, oh, it's rewrap this. Especially it's going to be hot. So I'm a little freaking cranky. I'm just saying this this wrap that's on this truck is so porous that I don't care what you do to it, it stains it. The brown dirt stains it, and there's nothing you can do. All this stuff that the manufacturer said to use doesn't work. We've wrapped this thing three years ago. We've wrapped our semi truck. I've wrapped. I don't even know how many trucks. The I've Silverado's wrapped. wrapped. The Jeep. The Tacoma. The F-150. The the Deberti Raptor. Every single one of those vehicles are wrapped, and they're wrapped in a specific wrap. And that's where I think we gone wrong. But you know, our, our local guy, Jeremy, he's so good at wrapping and every wrap guy, just like every paint guy, I mean, any construction person, they're all gonna have the recommendations. And where I went wrong is I went with a different manufacturer of the actual wrap. And uh, again, this is not in any way sponsored in any way. Uh, this is just 100% uh, mine and my dad's personal opinion. And where I went wrong Personal is... Personal opinion? I guess so. I'm just saying, this truck's been wrapped for three years, and we've only used this. We've had rubber all over the truck. We've had radiator fluid, like you said. We've had road debris. We've had dust. This thing looks like it just got wrapped today. It's absolutely flawless. This thing looks like it's been wrapped since they invented the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't invent the dinosaur. Or whatever. I mean, I'm just irritated because I don't feel like messing with the truck. No, I, I again, th this is a you know a, not a exciting episode, especially for me. I mean, I know my dad's upset, but for me, it's it's thousands of dollars lost for me, and so it sucks. So I want to show you guys. We have to rewrap this entire truck. A everything's got to come off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some fun with it. We're gonna maybe you know grab a key or something. Uh, you know maybe. Maybe not go too deep so we don't get the paint. Scratch it, kind of, you know, have fun with it. But at the end of the day, we are rewrapping the whole truck in 3M. Uh, for anyone out there wanting to know what this 3M is, is it's 2080 M12. Uh, it's what this truck's wrapped in. This whole truck is 3M, and it looks unbelievable. You, a lot of people actually don't even understand that. <laughs> well, we might as well do some fingernail flames. Those look horrible. You guys all know that when we build a vehicle, what we do and what we put into it, and we only use the best of the best. So this is not a 3M commercial. I'm just saying that I have so much experience using 3M flats, and it doesn't get any better. And, and this says it all. Without me even trying to sell someone, because I'm not, I'm just trying to save someone. And, and if Brad, Brad didn't know that I have had such bad experience with these flats, and... 
a lot of these wrap companies are saying, look, we've, we've got the best stuff. It's, you know, not porous. Well, from if you're going to wrap your vehicle, you could take our opinion, which is use the 3M mat or whatever your wrap guy is recommending. Get a square and test it out because if you don't, you're going to be doing the same thing we're doing. Here's the great thing about using people that are the best. There's only two people that I even know in the U.S. that I'd use. Jeremy's one of them, and this is a stand-up guy. He was told to use this from the manufacturer that he uses, and he did. And if I would have known, I would have stopped it and said, no, we're not putting that on there. I don't care because I've had such great experience with this flat. The type of guy Jeremy is is, look, I don't want that leaving my shop like that. He came over, tested it, went through everything, trying to get it out, shook his head, and he goes, okay, let me see when on my schedule when I get the thing back over, and, and uh, we'll take a week to two weeks out. We'll yank all this crap wrap off, and we're going to put some good wrap on it, and you guys be on your way. Well, he didn't say crap wrap because Jeremy, he works with all the manufacturers. That's my dad's words because obviously we're upset. Um, but again, we're, we're not slamming on. This is more to as a learning and thankfully, we have someone like Jeremy to, to even put in his time. He's offering his time for no cost, literally, to, to make this right. So now we got the right material. We got a lot of prep work to do on pulling this thing apart. Uh, but we're going to have some fun now. We're going to destroy this wrap before we actually pull it apart and uh, see what we could do. That's so much fun. <laughs> that ain't how people key. Yeah, this stuff is just porous. Man, it's actually ripping as it is. Yeah, don't go too deep with that. Oh, Dad, we could give it like a sanded look, actually. Look. Oh, Dad, we could give it a sanded look. You're not having any fun, are you? Do you want to try and key it? No. Just, I just try wanna, it. No. It's like a chalkboard, come here. Listen, this should be like a ringtone. Oh man, that was hot. So that basically took me about an hour and a half to two hours. I got uh, most of all the wrap off. Still got a few little things. But Jeremy's waiting for me at a shop. So let me get there, uh, talk to him to see what his, his thoughts are. I'm just gonna go through this like extremely fast just so we could get to the end of this and uh, show you guys it all done. Here is all the wrap. So I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger pile, but it really wasn't. So let me load up all the new wrap right here. And uh, let's go to Jeremy's and let's get this thing wrapped for the last time the right way. Yo, big dog. What's up, brother? How are you? So we're back with the man. Welcome. So what are we using? Tell us the breakdown. What's going using, on? Using uh, 3M this time. I don't know what the heck happened with that. I don't know why it stained. But no now, clue. now we're on. So the... now we're using 3M matte black 2080, uh, just like we did on. Uh, C10 Slayer. Yep. Same so, exact wrap. Same exact wrap. So we're okay. going to do it like that and it's going to look like this. And this also has a little bit different sheen, I noticed, than that in the other one, too. This matte's is... matte. Some some brands have matte that looks like satin. Some have matte that looks like matte. Uh -huh. You know, this the, is very the, smooth. If it, were, if it weren't you, I would talk you into satin. Mm -hmm. You love matte. So I turn everybody on to satin because satin's easier to maintain. You wouldn't have those issues. So. But now we've got this. This is what you got. It matches your brand. The, the weird so. part with, we've never had a problem with a 3M. Right, yeah, that's, right. That's what's weird. Right. Like the C10, I mean. I've what, never the, seen that happen before, ever. The C10, yeah. it, the C10's been wrapped for three years? Yeah, three years. And I've been installing bottom for 32 years, before wraps. So, it's the first time I've ever seen it happen. It happened. I'm gonna fix it. It's who did that with a grin. Hey. <laughs> not, not who the F did that. <laughs> So at this point, we have uh, the entire truck taken apart. I, I didn't need to film it again. We've already been here. We've already taken all this apart. Uh, but I do want to show you just how much of a mess everything is right now. 
you can see all the uh, the handles are all laid out the tailgate is here the front bumper just all the parts so anyway um next time you guys see the truck i'm, I'm not even gonna show it being wrapped because it's you know it is what it is so that does it here at who did that jeremy's gonna get busy um thankful to have someone like jeremy that just takes pride in his work uh next time you guys see this truck it's gonna be fully wrapped right now we're gonna go back to the ranch show you guys a few updates i got some stuff going on with the utv uh, with the go-kart track things like that so let's go back there and um yeah i cannot wait to see this thing done and it be done with the correct material this time We're down to the last Dell Junior go-kart. My dad's actually out right now getting the track all dialed in. It's been raining here for the past nine days, so it's absolutely destroyed the track. My uncle Randy is here helping me. Uh, he came all the way up, and uh, we're, we got, <laughs> we've been putting some work in. What have we done, Randall? Well, we have taken the carburetors off, gone through those, cleaned them up. Uh, Brad has changed the tires. We've not put, got those back on. Clean the fuel tanks out, brand new fuel lines, uh, check the oils, clean some of the rust off of it a little bit in a couple of critical places, and um, just kind of give them a once over, make sure everything's tight so we don't lose anything on the, while we're out playing. So my dad just hit the horn, let's go check in with him and uh, see how the track looks. So just showing up to the track at the ranch. My dad's been working on it. It's been raining here for nine days. Uh, I'll show you the puddle and what the track looks like. Look at how good this is. <laughs> I think my dad's racing. Look at the puddle out in the middle. Yeah, this, this looks so, so good. The, the good part about it raining for nine days is it just packed this down so much. We still gotta figure out the drainage because you can see we got a mini lake. Uh, hopefully, when we actually, when race day comes, no one's actually flying into the lake right here. Soaked right here, so see how I had to make the track come out? And then it's kind of soaked right in here. So I had our local go-kart track throwing away all their barriers that had some blemishes, cracks, and uh, there's a whole truckload. And so this is perfect for the go-kart track. Thank you. 